Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Olivia. Today, we are doing a pack with me for Walt Disney World, and as you can see, I have clothes all over my floor. There are clothes beneath me. You probably won't see much of my face, you'll just hear my voice. So, let's get started with what I'm gonna pack. I just wanna clarify before everyone's like, wow, that's a lot of clothes. We are going for eight days. It is going to be in the 90s in Orlando, Florida. So I have two outfits for each day, essentially, just in case I get really sweaty or it gets really rainy. And then, you know, I like options. So we'll just, we'll start with that, <laughs> okay? All right, so um, where do I begin? I begin by getting off the floor. Oh boy, here comes Grace. Oh no! It hit you. You hit me. You're on the ground. <laughs> I'm so on the ground. Why are you on the ground? <laughs> because I just have a lot of stuff. I'm on the ground now too. Oh. <laughs> you have tweezers. I don't know where they are. How many are there? 36. But last year, last year had 37. I don't care how big they are. They're bright pink if you can find them. Okay, so. First things first, I usually like to decide what I'm gonna wear by park. Grace, you may cross the bridge to Terabithia. Uh, the main reason I wanted to go was for Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. So that's what the first outfit is for. I also made a TikTok about these outfits. It's very short. Why would you watch that when you can get full explanation? This is gonna be, I think, our first day. We are going to each park twice so each part gets two outfits was that redundant probably so plain white t-shirt and my yellow gingham shorts and then i'm probably gonna wear the sneakers that i have on my feet these are my platform converse i love them so that is for epcot flower and garden for animal kingdom i have most of my clothes are from american eagle i'm realizing i feel like i have never stopped wearing them or outgrown them they're just solid basic so we have this cream tank top right here that's a little crappy, but I got it a size up because I wanted it more toppy. And then I have these little paper bag waisted stretchy shorts that are flowy and going to be comfortable in the most humid park of them all. Next we have Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. I oof, I don't own a single Star Wars thing, which you would think in my house that I would know that's my sister's bag. I don't own a single Star Wars thing, so I just have some basic cuffed mom shorts which is my favorite cut of short because they're like bigger in the thighs which i got thick thighs and then they're smaller in the waist which is nice i also refuse to follow the trend of low rise anything because i grew up in the early 2000s i know what early i know what a low rise looks like on me it's not a good not a good thing and then the t-shirt is from target this is just a basic mickey mouse t-shirt i love this shirt super comfortable it will be good on a hot day i also bought a pair of bike shorts from athleta they have them in a shorter length so that way they don't like look like bermuda shorts i don't look good in a cropped legging of any way because of my proportions but if i get a shirt that's long enough and they just pop out at the bottom just a little bit um, and they're like just above my mid thigh they tend to be more flattering but I would never wear like a crop shirt with crop leggings. That wouldn't work for my body proportions. And that's just preference. Then for Magic Kingdom, guess my favorite color by the end of this video. Just, or just look, guess my favorite color. For Magic Kingdom, I have that same cream tank top, but in yellow. And it's just this little crappy top with this skirt from Urban Outfitters. And I will wear some little, what are they called? They're not quite Spanx, but they're like, I guess they're bike shorts underneath so that way my thighs don't rub together on the super hot hot day that we're gonna be there we have that outfit for magic kingdom and i'll probably wear my reeboks or my platform sneakers yet again i mostly wear white sneakers so that's it for like the main outfits that i want to be photographed in i want to try and make it to the enchanted rose lounge over in the grand floridian hotel and so i have this dress from asos that is a little off the shoulder cute little they're not, it's not quite a prairie dress, but like the cute, trendy style. I think it's adorable and it's off the shoulder, so it reminded me of Belle, who's my favorite princess. I really wanted to wear it there because I like themed wardrobe and Disney bounding and yeah. So that's what this dress is for. So those are the main like planned outfits for my trip. And then I also have my basics. So I am bringing, where are my shorts? <laughs> So I'm bringing two pairs of running shorts. These are just comfortable black ones that are soft so I can wear them 
on a really, really hot day or I can change into them after I get my cute picture, but there's no rule that says that bike shorts can't, or not bike shorts, running shorts can't be cute when you have a cute shirt or you just, you know, cute pictures, not that important. And then I have a pair of black ripped mom shorts. I have a pair of regular uh, blue denim ripped mom shorts. And then these are a darker pair of mom shorts that have a little cuff on them. I don't know what I'm gonna wanna wear. I don't know, I might just get super sweaty. Wanna wear them. Then we move on to t-shirts. I have this big one that I'll probably wear with bike shorts, which is a huge Who Framed Roger Rabbit t-shirt with Roger on the bottom. I love this t-shirt. I never wear it, but I figured now's the time and if I don't wear it on this trip, it will get donated to you know, someone who actually wants to wear a Who Framed Roger Rabbit shirt. Next, these are just my t-shirts that I may want to change into because I've gone over everything else. Mickey tie-dye t-shirt that I got last time I was in Disney World in January. Good sleep shirt or just a good, it's way too hot, I don't care what I look like shirt. Then we have a Muppet t-shirt because I am one of the few people who appreciates the Muppets. And this is Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. This is my opinion. Can you picture that as one of the best rock songs ever written? fight me. Then my t-shirt that I love this, Grace and I both have matching shirt, but it's a Trader Sam's Rock Grotto t-shirt and it's orange, which I clearly love orange. And a Lost Bros Drink Around the World Tour t-shirt. This is like four years old at this point. I tie dyed it and then on the back it's got all of the like countries and everything. Make sure I have, oh wait, I have two more t-shirts. So I do have two more t-shirts. So I also have my yellow uh, logo Walt Disney World t-shirt that everyone and their brother has. It's also, it's just a great t-shirt. And then I also have the Epcot Forever uh, t-shirt, not the long sleeve. I know a lot of people have the long sleeve, but I have the t-shirt. I also have the spirit jersey, but this one, I figured I would wear this t-shirt with this cute little running tennis skirt. It's got pockets and like shorts underneath it. So I really like it, but I think that would be cute with like some running sneakers right here that I have. I also have a running dress um, that's got a sports bra and some shorts underneath so I can wear that to the park one day if I feel like wearing a dress. And then I also have some plain black t-shirts, some plain black like full length tank tops, a couple of other colors like this green one. Um, I also have a plain yellow t-shirt as well. And this is just backups just in case I need another layer or something along those lines. Never know if one of my family members is gonna be like, does anyone have? And then I can share with them. Sports bras, underwear, bras, socks are in this pile over here. I am perpetually forgetting pajamas when I go places. So I have these Mickey sweatpants that I got from Target and then from, um, from Aerie I have these little yellow soft shorties that I can wear. I can also wear them over bathing suit, which I also need to pack, that reminds me. Okay, I have that. And then simple enough, because I've said, I said this in my last video when I was like going over what's in my daily park bag. Um, I also have a hoodie I bring everywhere because I never know if I'm gonna be cold for whatever godforsaken reason I would be cold in 90 degree weather. You never know with me. So yes, so we have that. And then I also have two baseball hats because like I said, it's gonna be hot and I wanna keep the sun out of my face. And then I have, ugh, why am I winded? Hello? And then can I get closer now? That's better, okay. Now that we're down here. And then I have running sneakers. These are plain Reeboks white. I've had them forever. Like I said, my platform Converse I will bring. And then I will bring my Reebok classics with the gum bottom, I like these. It's just good to switch your sneakers and your shoes when you're there because if you wear the same shoes every day, your feet will hurt. I don't understand why switching your shoes helps your feet. Even if you could have the most supportive pair of shoes, but after you've walked for like 12 miles, switching your shoes to a less supportive pair the next day feels good. Okay, then we got sandals. I already said bathing suit. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm obviously also bringing tons of pairs of Mickey ears cords to charge my phone and all my electronics as well as makeup, deodorant, all the toiletries as well, hair dryer, anything you might imagine, but this is specifically just the clothes I'm bringing. So yeah, let me know what your favorite thing to wear in a Disney park is. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I make videos every once in a while on there as well. Links are in the description. And yeah, don't forget to click the subscribe button and give a thumbs up and I will see you guys next week with the vlog while I'm in the park. So have a magical day guys, bye.